The riser is simply the piece that connects the hood plenum to the grease ductwork. Your hood is likely to come with a factory installed riser. However, if the riser is field installed, it will ship loose. You may receive a weld on or bolt on riser. Bolted risers come with two half rings, one full ring, and quarter 20 mounting hardware. Field installed risers accommodate unknown job site conditions as the job site installer can decide on the final location of the riser. To install a field installed riser, locate the desired position of the riser on top of the hood ensuring the location complies with the hood manufacturer's requirements. Make sure that the whole location is inside the plenum area before cutting. Since the riser will be bolted on, a bolt hole circle is required. Use the loose ring as a guide to mark the inner diameter, as well as the bolt hole locations. You can now cut the plenum along the inner diameter you just marked using an angle grinder. Make sure to deburr and smooth the hole. Now you can drill bolt holes using a quarter inch bit. Use solvent to clean the area above and below the riser opening. Per the listing, 3M Fire Barrier 2000 Plus is the only sealant that may be used to seal this duct system. Sections must be clean, dry, and frost free before sealing. When installed properly, this sealant will seal a duct system so it is leak-free, and at the same time will control the spread of fire before, during, and after exposure to open flames. Use a half-inch bead of silicone to seal above the cut hole, and use a generous amount around the bolt hole circles. Center the riser above the cut hole and push the riser down into the silicone. Align the split ring over the holes. The two ring halves should overlap, as shown. Press the ring down into the silicone. The silicone should come through each bolt hole on the ring. Insert two of the provided whiz bolts threads down on opposing ends of the ring to temporarily secure it. Use a half inch bead of silicone to seal below the cut hole and again, use a generous amount around the bolt hole circles. Insert the full ring, aligning the bolt holes with the two temporary whiz bolts. Then hand thread the nuts onto the whiz bolts to hold the ring in place. Insert the rest of the whiz bolts, this time threads up, and hand thread the nuts. At this time, you should go back to the first two whiz bolts which were threads down and flip them around so that all the bolts are threads up. Once all bolts are threads up, you can tighten the nuts. The final torque should be between 40 and 60 inch pounds. Once the riser is attached, place the V-band over the riser, as shown, before installing the next duct section. Once the riser and connecting duct sections have been connected, cut the provided insulation to size. Tightly wrap the insulation to completely fill all voids. Be sure that the remaining ends overlap, and that the insulation is the same type and number of layers as the rest of the duct. Install the riser cover around the duct flange ring and secure it with the sheet metal screws provided. Use only hardware provided, as longer screws may penetrate the inner duct. The slots in the riser cover provide an opening for the installation of the duct sensors or fire stats if required. When a wiring extension for the sensors is needed, install a nipple from the inner duct to a junction box just outside the riser cover, as shown. Never install a junction box inside the riser cover. Finally, clean the plenum side of the riser installation to ensure proper airflow and a professional finished look.